Hello and welcome to the show. You know, you'd be surprised how many labels we absorb in a single day. The labels we give ourselves, not to mention the ones we give other people and how it all perpetuates these negative stereotypes. Jamila Gooden is a pastor and author of Death of the Angry Black Woman. She is on a mission to break the negative stereotypes associated with black women and help people, including other black women, Mm -hmm. better understand what leads to a life filled with anger and how to overcome that. Please welcome to the show, Pastor Jamila Gooden. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, indeed. It is good to have you here. Thank you. you. Uh, And I love your candor about this topic and the issue and and all the things that lead up to the perception of being angry. Right. It's a perception. Let's talk about how you ended up here. Right. In this space. I ended up in this space because I am very candid when I say I, too, had anger issues. Mm. But the difference between the anger issues that I have, having them as a black woman, I don't get to have my moment. I get to have a label that follows me a lifetime. Mm. And that's the unfairness because my issue, you'd be surprised, the African-American woman, the Spanish woman, the Asian woman, Mm -hmm. women at large are having issues. Mm -hmm. But why is it that my sisters get to wear the label And Caucasian women have problems. Mm -hmm. Asian women are fiery, but we are angry. Mm. We saw this would happen in Congress, right? Mm. Marjorie Taylor Greene, right? I call her Rocket Crockett. And she responded from somebody being aggressive. Mm -hmm. But now she gets to be angry. Mm -hmm. She gets to be unprofessional. But she wasn't the one that started it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why is it that we get the label? That's unfair. And why do you think that is? I believe because... We live in a society of labeling. We live in a judgmental society. And people will judge you based upon things that they don't know. Mm-hmm. But because it's the propaganda, it's it's everybody gets to come together. And we really become the whooping boy for society, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whether we like it or not. And the double standard. It is a double standard. As absolutely. well, right? Yes, because absolutely. you can, uh, women, to be clear, right, of yeah. every ethnic background, That's right. get angry or have emotions, yeah. either in a work setting or a professional setting or a home setting. Right. Um, but there's, I've never heard anything other than angry black woman. No, you, you, th- like I said, the Spanish woman, she's fiery, you know, or saucy. We get labeled across the board. Mm-hmm. They're angry. They're bitter. You said that your anger yeah. stems from uh, a place where a, a, a lot of it stems for a lot of people, childhood, right. things that you cause. saw. Absolutely. What did you see? I grew up in a very, very abusive home. I grew mm-hmm. up in a household of domestic violence. My father. Unfortunately, he is no longer with us. My mother's not no longer with us. But uh, my mother, she was a very, very, very submissive woman, mm-hmm. very submissive. And she was the reason why I evolved to who I am, because as much as I loved her, I made a conscious decision. I'm not going to be like mom. You did not want to feel mama took a beating. submissive. No, mom- submissive is fine. Mm-hmm. Very submissive to my husband. Mm-hmm. But she took the beating mm. and she didn't say anything. In other words, she never fought back. You saw your I father. Saw her. I saw her mm. kicked in the face. Mm. I saw her just, she, I saw my mother beat like a man. And she was only five foot three. She was a very petite woman. What, how, I mean, that's so much trauma for a child. Yeah. How did your mother interact with you? Or, or, or how did you interact with her after seeing that? I became her protector. Mm. But there so many times us. that's what children that's what end happened. up doing. Yeah. You, and I think a lot of people don't realize when you're in domestic violence, your children become your advocate. Yeah. Your children become your peacemaker and your children become the protector. Right. Mm-hmm. Because mommy is supposed to protect. Daddy is supposed to protect. Well, what, what do you do when daddy is the one that's causing the violence? So right. mommy is the one causing the violence. And when daddy is in the church. Absolutely. That's the, the mask of it all. Messages that you're yeah. seeing there. Yeah. How did that impact? Yeah. yeah. I had to one make man a conscious on decision and, and another man during the course of the week. Mm-hmm. I had to make a conscious decision to one, know God for myself. That's one. And then two, to make sure I don't take those attributes from my father. I don't want it from my mom and I don't want it from my dad. So put me in the middle. Let me be aggressive where I can put it into a perspective. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to give it to everybody, but it showed up in my dating life. How so? Uh-huh. Because that's been so many times that's right. women who see abusive fathers yep. end yep. up dating abusive men. Right. Was that just right out the gate for you? Out the gate, I attracted an abuser. Hmm. Out the gate, I attracted a very abusive relationship. 
And I had to do something. It had to be a turning point for me. And I had to make a conscious decision. I can fight or flight. And, and there so, was a fight, right? Oh, there was and a big fight. And there was an arrest. It, it sure was. Let's talk about that. Oh, let's talk about Delaney Hall in Newark, New Jersey, shall we? Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, I was married to a person who had a very narcissistic personality. Mm -hmm. And I had to defend myself. And it was one circumstance where I looked at myself and I was becoming my mother. I was becoming, mm. taking it because he was the provider. And that's what my mother used to say. She used to say, I got four kids. Where am I going? And so wow. I chose a man who was, unfortunately, um, an abuser. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, you caught the right one on the wrong day. And so what happens when you say, I make a conscious decision that I'm not going to be like my mother. And then you find yourself in certain circumstances where you are defending yourself. Yeah. And so in your subconscious where you hide stuff. And so he triggered the anger. Because I said, mm. now, now I got to defend myself. Right. So it was a fight. And because of that fight, unfortunately, I was arrested. I got home. I wasn't, that, I wasn't going that long. Mm. It wasn't prison. Nonetheless, right. I should have never been in a circumstance or a relationship where I had to defend myself. Where you myself. had to fight for you and you defend yourself. Yeah. So you two part ways. Yes, we did. But the anger yeah. holds close to your heart. Yeah. I had to get help because I realized that I did not want to become my father. But I didn't want to become my mother. So I had to learn conflict resolution that I can have a conflict with you. Mm -hmm. But the resolve is no police. We're not going to jail. Right. And I'm not going to poison the children. It's going right. It's going to be healthy. And that's therapy. the space that you are in now. Right. Now, right? right. That's got to be such a blessing. Therapy. You've been in therapy and mar and remarried. Yes. In a I good, amazing, healthy relationship. Oh, amazing. When you've had bad, when you get good, you applaud it. Mm -hmm. And I am honored that I didn't let my pain poison my past mm. or my past poison my pain. I took it and I said, I'm going to get some help because when he comes, because I know he's coming. Yeah. Right. I am going to make sure I have a healthy marriage because that's something I did not see. And that you're not in going my, into the marriage with anger there you go. from previous relationships yeah. Yeah. that this man did not yeah. bring. Yeah, this yeah. man brings joy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His personality is a lot different. I think a lot of times what happens with women, and especially when we have grown up in an aggressive environment, yeah. you have to find that mesh. You have to find the eureka. And, and the eureka have. is someone that is not going to fight. Yeah. He's going to use conflict resolution. I love it. We're going to there pause go. just right there yeah. um, because so many lessons already just yeah. in that part of the conversation. Up yeah. next, you're going to meet actress and school teacher, Treasure Price. She's going to give us her take on the stigmas associated with the concept of being an angry black woman and why being strong doesn't mean you are angry. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hey there, Portia here. Listen. That was a good conversation, wasn't it? Want to see the rest of it? Just go to PortiaShow.com, scroll down until you see that particular episode. But listen, before you scroll on out of here, I need you to do me a favor. Please like, comment, let us know what you thought of that episode, and subscribe. And if you already are a subscriber, we sure appreciate you. In the meantime, we'll be sure to see you on the next episode of Portia. And you can catch us weeknights on Fox Soul as well. Tell your friends. Tell them to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.